existence, legend grows, and we continue to explore the deepest parts of the human soul. For Showtime, I'm Janet Lee. Good night. Need a vacation? Sylvester? Hey, what's up, Bucks? My kind of store. From your 24-hour news channel, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good afternoon, I'm Randy Meyer, live in the Eyewitness Newsroom. It's 35 degrees. In the news this hour, students at McAllister College in St. Paul are pulling together to prevent more hate crimes from happening at their school. Late last week, someone broke into the kosher kitchen at Hebrew House on campus and left anti-Semitic messages. And the State Patrol says icy road conditions have caused more than 100 accidents in the Twin Cities today. Join us for this, these, these stories and more on Eyewitness News at 5. Meet actress Jane Carr from Dear John's One-to-One -one Club on the next live. This is it, gang. Roseanne Barr, Tom Arnold are really going to host our show today. We're so excited. Very excited. <laughs> well, you know, one thing, it never occurred to me to ask you guys if you have really ever hosted a television show. Oh, no, we how, never have. How hard can it be? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, prompted you, what prompted you to want to do this? I mean, well, how did you we, no, no, we just started, uh, we did a radio show. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We hosted a radio show for two hours, so mm -hmm. we kind of know. So you're confident. And that's how we got, like, real confident. And then we thought, oh, we could go to Minneapolis. And then we thought if we retired that we'd come here and, and take our jobs. Take our jobs. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but we, have a, we want to show you how this whole thing began. See, it all started last summer when these two were getting a little bit, um, well, testy about Los Angeles. And they said they wanted to live here. Watch yeah. what happened. It all started last August with this article in the St. Paul Pioneer Press and Dispatch. Roseanne Barr and Tom Arnold told reporter Brian Lambert that they wanted to host good company. Well, the next day, when Gary talked with Roseanne and Tom after her Riverfest performance, they brought it up again. Guys, you're going to, like, move into the Twin Cities, buy a house, yeah. settle down. Well, we won our own morning show called Breakfast with the Arnold. Yeah. A morning show. You better replace to... your show, too, if you don't mind. Yeah, or else we'll go out before you guys. We'll go home. Well, you want to go head-to-head well, -head against it? Or no, different? no, no, no we, we want to go on your network. we just want you guys to get fired. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> well, Stephen Sharon will be pleased to hear this. No, we like Stephen Sharon. Yeah, yeah well, we want to be co-hosts with them. We went out and asked people what they think of this whole thing. I think it'll be great. Yeah, I like them. They're both funny. <laughs> Tom Arnold, that's her husband, right? Yeah, I, I've seen them on talk shows and stuff, and they they could be really serious and you know and be funny too. So I think they'd be, do really good. I wouldn't approve. I don't know who Tom Arnold is. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. I like them. Now that they're moving to Minneapolis. It's a great idea. Oh, I think they want to talk. Let's just let her host the show once. <laughs> then we can all have something to talk about in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. right. We're on to talk about. He said right. we'll have something to talk about in Minneapolis. That's right. You there go. they go. Did Come. you guys go over the background material we gave you about liposuction, about lighting as fire and all that? What? Yeah. You did? What? Well, well sort of. <laughs> so no, we did. So do you have prepared introductions? Or? No. 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 Okay. But all you set. did spend the weekend yeah, we're all eating we did, out. We, we spent the weekend eating out and reviewing <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we did uh, do that. Okay. Talk about lip I lip read lip the book <laughs> about how to have your husband be. Uh, you how know. to make him happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I read that did book. Did you try it? Yeah. Yeah. No, obviously, yeah. no. Never, right. even, never even thought about it. All right. <laughs> all set? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Let's go, guys. Okay. the Twin Cities, it's Good Company with your host, Stephen Sharon. Today, our special guest host, and anything's bound to happen, the husband and wife team of Roseanne Barr and Tom Arnold. See what happens when Roseanne and Tom take a look at what's new in liposuction fat reduction for thighs and stomach. Advice for couples on how to keep the romance alive in your relationship, including some controversial costumes for women. And then see what happens when Roseanne and Tom serenade you with a special song. And now here they are, Stephen and Sharon and Roseanne and Tom.
Hi. They're nice. You guys are great. Well, we're glad to be here. Yeah. You know, we got. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, part of how this originally started, the Minneapolis thing, is my wife did another one of her interviews. You know, and uh, <laughs> talked about how she went. You know, she talked about many things, but then she mentioned we want to move the show to Minneapolis. Yeah. Well, the next day, it was in all the papers, and uh, so which is true. We do. We did want to move, move the show to Minneapolis, which we still do. And so. Um, we did. We just failed to mention it to the producers of the show, you know. And uh, they read it in the paper, you know. And like, we need more conflict on the show, you know what I mean? So uh, we've been working on it ever since and trying to make it happen. In, in the meantime, we are uh, definitely buying a house here, and uh, we've been house hunting, and uh, this is going to be. Our home. Here, honey. Well, I really like it here, yeah. as you know, honey. Because we because, met here. Because, well, that too. And um, <laughs> because they have that skywalk, I like that the best because you don't ever have to go outside. That's cool. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and I like the people here the most because yeah. they're very nice people and everybody's really friendly to us. And, uh, you know. Um, yeah, they're great. Everyone gives us free stuff. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> That's cool. That's and, good stuff. And um, so I hope we can. Like, we won't be able to do this this year, but we hope we can this year. show. Yeah. Now, this year, this summer, we will spend in Minneapolis. Yeah. We'll spend this summer. We are. Yeah. Uh, we also want to say the thanks to Stephen Sharon for letting us do this. Yeah, they're great. They're great. Yeah, they're <laughs> You know, we need any help. Emergencies. Right. Emergencies. Now, you, we asked you if you would sing. Uh, yeah. Do you think you guys would yeah. uh, be willing to, to do she, a little singing? Well, again? I said I'd sing over my record. Because your new album. Yeah, new yeah. album. Yeah. A single from her, uh, the hit single coming out from her first comedy <laughs> album ever. With a bullet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Through the heart. And uh, why don't you sing it, honey? Where do we get a signet? Right there. Right here? Right there. Honey? Right now? Come on, stand up. All right. You want to stand right. up? Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. I would lip sync, but after this Millie Vanilli controversy, yeah. I feel I have to sing along, so. Okay, honey. You know, I never would, I never would lip sync. It's not loud enough. I'm a girl. everybody, Gary Lumpkin here for the Trim for Life Weight Loss Program, and seated next to me is Marlo Collins, who went to our clinic in Cottage Grove, and listen to this, 
Tell the folks how much weight you lost. 91 pounds, Gary. 91 pounds, that's right, 90. Well, well let's stand up and take a look at, uh, take a look. You look great. I feel great, Gary. I bet you do. I'm wondering what you like best, though, Marlo, about the program. Well, I like the counseling, I think, was the best part of it. They really were there to support you, weren't they? Always, always. Um, how's your life different now? Well, I'm a lot more active in what I do. I do a lot of walking, biking, and things that I didn't do before. You wouldn't have done 91 pounds ago? No, no. Marlo's life has changed, and yours will, too, when you take advantage of the Trim for Life weight loss program. And this week only at Trim for Life, get December free. That's right, December free. Call 1-800-654-TRIM for the location nearest you. Remember, this week only, get December free. 1-800-654-TRIM and get started today. It's who you are, not what you seem. The other side is calm. My fifth picture, my eyes are clear. There's nothing that I need to fear. Come join us now and share our dreams. The other side is calling. Welcome, Annie. you remember one special long ago Christmas gift? A gift you've never forgotten. An electric train that spewed real smoke. A doll that could cry real tears. And every time you think of it, you remember the person who gave it to you. Because your happiness was the only gift they wanted. Give them something to remember. Rosedale. You know, a lot of stuff bugs me about being married. A lot of stuff bugs me about husbands, you know. Like when they all the time want to talk to you. I hate that. <laughs> because, uh, Roseanne, don't you think we should talk about our sexual problems? Like I'm going to turn off Wheel of Fortune for that. You're funny. Um, do you want to rekindle the passion, joy, and excitement in your relationship? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want to bring back those butterflies you used to get in your stomach when you first fell in love? Do you want to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, now you can because Ellen Creedman is here. Creedman, I mean. And she wrote this book, like, how to keep your, how to, what's the name of it? Light his fire, how, how to, to keep a man hopelessly and passionately in love with you. Yeah, so, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> okay, she, said, she teaches couples how to keep their relationships fresh and exciting. And we talked about your book and everything. So, uh, well, it's nice that you're here. Thank you for having so me. So, you think that, is that, is this a bunch of BS or what? <laughs> No, actually, I've been married for 24 years and have three children, 21, 20, and 16. Wow. And uh, I have written this book because I've been teaching classes for 10 years, Light His Fire for Women and Light Her Fire for Men. Sounds you like know. you might have had a little bit of spare time, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to keep a straight face. I think it's really cool that you're teaching it to the men, too, because all the time, you know how they say how every, the women have to do everything right, you women, that, you know, you have to you know, do all that stuff, and they never say how the guys should. So I'm glad you did Yeah, that. and you know, I, the truth is that I hear just as many men complaining about the fact that they're always the initiator. Right, right, I know what you one. mean, yeah. <laughs> and so men are just as interested in keeping a relationship today intact. Yeah, but they wouldn't wear dry. outfits, would they? Uh, yeah, well, they will when my new book comes out. <laughs> you, you mean you're, you're oh, telling the men yes. what kind of outfits oh, to wear? Oh, yes. Because, you know, it's, outfits you know what, stuff? it's a myth that men don't have imagination. If you ever see a little boy, he's got everything Wait a minute, in front of that's him. A myth. <laughs> no, but people think that men are not imaginative enough. And you see little boys playing with toy soldiers, mm. and they are Superman, complete with sounds and noises that women have never invented. Right. So the fact is that men have an imagination. For some reason, it's been stifled for a very long time. I can make time. the noises. Good. <laughs> if I have to. Not all night, you know. But, uh, make a couple of them, maybe, you know. Well, that's cool. What, what kind of outfits would the men? Do you want? Should we just bring up? Oh, just tell me the, like what kind of outfits would men wear? 
Oh, all kinds of things. I tell you, I have heard men, this one particular man who is dressed in a three-piece suit all day because he's in sales, he came home at 12 o'clock in as a TV repairman. Overalls, the, the oh, whole thing, the that, keys, oh, and knocked cute. on the door, said he was here to fix the TV. She let him in and he started flirting with her and oh, said, Dad, you are cute. so cute, I can't concentrate on the TV. So all kinds of now, things. Are you sure I that was her it. husband or the actual <laughs> TV repairman? <laughs> I thought it was you, honey. I didn't know. He, he looked like you. He was... <laughs> <laughs> and I bet he couldn't fix the TV, though, right? It didn't matter. All right. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So here we go, right? You're, you're yes. on. Yes. Uh, this is really designed because this, the, one of the secrets that I talk about is that inside every man, no matter how strong, no matter how powerful, no matter how successful, there is a little boy waiting to come out and play. And the woman that can provide the playground becomes <laughs> indispensable in his life. So these are some costumes. Now, if you are dressed for the holiday seasons as Mrs. Claus, you can go up to your husband and say, now, have you been naughty or nice this season? Because Mrs. Claus has something for naughty boys. <laughs> I guess we, we aren't going to see what it was, though, huh? No, and this costume is designed for the man that conveniently leaves the house when it's time to do some housework. I will guarantee you that if you're dressed like this and ready to do housework, he will join you. <laughs> so we, we, we have a maid, so we got the maid to dress up like that. Uh, now this is fun. In the morning, <laughs> in the morning when he leaves for work, you place a huge cowboy hat on the seat of his car with a note that says, "Hey cowboy, you'll be back in the saddle again tonight," and you greet him like this at the doorstep. <laughs> but you know what? All of these things are designed to create a memory. And I'll tell you something: when it's all said and done, the only thing we're going to remember are those crazy, insane, out of character moments that we we've, we've never ever on our deathbed are going to say we should have spent more time at the office. Never. So this is to have fun, to allow the little boy and him to come out, little girl. Why is it that Halloween is the only holiday where we allow adults to be children? Why would he come out if he's going to get spanked? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I want to ask you this question, because it's down here. Oh, no, right. actually, <laughs> I, I do want to ask. So what's the most important advice that you would give to... How many married women are here, by the way? See, okay, now we all want to know, right? Okay. Okay, how, how do you keep your husband from straying? Okay. What's the most important advice? This is the most important advice you'll ever get. A man falls in love because of the way he feels about himself when he's with you. And when he no longer feels good about himself, he will find another woman that he feels good about himself with. That's what an affair is all about. It is not that he's in love with the other woman. He's in love with the way he feels about himself when he's with the other woman. So this book is not about getting thinner or prettier or more intelligent or better, uh, better paying job. It's about how does another human being feel about themselves when they're with you. So, so, so what should you do then? <laughs> so every day before, every day before you hit the pillow at night, instead of worrying about whether you gave him breakfast, lunch, and dinner, worry about have I fed the person that I love the most a compliment, and have I made him feel good about himself? And if the answer is no, you owe him two the next day. Well, that's not. Nice. What about dinner, though? I mean, if, yeah, yeah. I mean, if he's hungry, he's not going to feel very good about it. That's, yeah, that's a myth. A way to a man's father's stomach. They could be dating some waitress somewhere, so it's going to happen. I don't Down think so. We're going to go to break now. Oh, okay. And okay. we're going to work on we'll be tied up when we get back. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you. French collection from Ethan Allen. When a room looks like this, it's a pity to spend so much time at it with your eyes closed. Right now at Ethan Allen Interiors, you can enjoy exceptional fall savings. 
Dining room starting at $7.99. Living room sofas from $9.99. Quality and style at home begins with Ethan Allen Interiors. And what a great place to start. There are four convenient locations. The city, a place of great opportunity. Some who work here during the week return on Sunday to worship at Central Lutheran. Take Harry Force, for example. I feel that I'm a very lucky person to have the job that I do, even though it's a high-pressure type of business. It's a kind of business yes. that uh, is very fulfilling to me and I find very rewarding. I need a balance in my life to make it meaningful. In order to keep everything in proper perspective and to know what is central in my life in terms of worshiping God on a regular basis, the workplace and the home and the church can make the whole of life have meaning. Balance and meaning in a world of extremes. It's worship at Central. Do you know what I asked Arlene to do? I asked her to catalog all my coupons according to expiration date and the four food groups. <laughs> and then I start writing this letter to my best friend from third grade, Sherry Jaggy. And I mean, I haven't even had her address for something like 20 years. <laughs> That's okay, honey. I know you get a little whacked out every now and then. What's your point, Dan? I really don't have a point. <laughs> great show, honey. Yeah, I, my husband Tom Arnold wrote that show, and yes, I, I, I it's really funny. It's about PMS, which, you know, we all know about. <laughs> it was, I, I, was a, I gotta say, credit you for helping me by just studying you. I was <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Anyway, honey, you got some help, helpful yeah. hints. Helpful. Now, we, now we're at the segment where we talk about helpful household hints. Hmm. What do you got Okay, for us? like the thing that I'm gonna do is, okay, you know how sometimes you're gonna go out, but you don't have shoulder pads or else? They're not the kinds that they don't have any of that sticky um, Velcro stuff in it, you know, so here's what you can do instead. You take a mask, <laughs> make a mask, you put it in here, and it sticks right to your thing, your jacket, and you're ready to go. They also have these that you can wrap around your armpits, and they will stay right in place. And guys, if you're at the beach, <laughs> If you're at the beach and you got the Speedos on, you're probably... Anyway, um... <laughs> anyway... That's sent in by who? By Jan Nelson. Jan Nelson uh, sent that in from Blaine. Now, well, we got well, some from Steve Cochran of the Hennepin County Jail. He sent in, uh... <laughs> he says, when your dog or cat pees on the carpet, don't worry, just take a baby diaper, put it in the face, Put it face down on the... On the I better read bad it. Bad dog. Uh, put it in, in the carpet and do a dance on the, to MC Hammer. Here, go. You can no. help me, honey. Come on. Okay, I'll show you what you do. Come okay. Here. Okay, say, you know, your, your, your animal goes. Okay. Okay. Now put that diaper face okay. down, honey. All right. Okay. okay. Now hit the music. Watch out, honey. Go okay. for it, baby. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Get out of there, honey. Get out of there. Sorry, you don't have to clean up around here. They got people to do that now. Okay. Okay. Hope that's not real. It's... Okay, now if you're slicing. <laughs> no, they promised it was. It was only water with yellow in it. I know, but you're still telling that. Isn't it? Oh. There goes the joke. Okay, honey. Okay, now if, if you're... you're wearing the speedos at the beach. <laughs> okay, anyway. If you want to, if you want to know how to slice onions without making yourself cry, here's what you do: you just wear these swimming goggles. Yeah. Or you can wear, you know, this baby a gas mask. Here. And it works. It's not funny, but it works. Move on, honey. <laughs> You know, if, if you're out, uh, you know, the, the weather's so bad here, the harsh Minnesota weathers, and you never know when you're going to get stuck in a blizzard, and in case you ever get stuck in your car, keep these in your trunk. A Fair. pair of socks. That's right, honey. You know. And two garbage bags. Right. And 
You put the bags over your shoes and then the socks on top of the bag. It's just Tom, right there. Tom! <laughs> this is mine. Yeah, then you put these on. Okay. Anyway, um, honey, what's that? that was... Oh, okay, when your yard gets full of, you know, dog poop and <laughs> it freezes up. Here, let me help you. Here's what you can do okay, in your backyard. Please, oh, please. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? That's, you're just, okay. You know what? Okay, you know what you're doing, right? Okay, well, you, know. you want to get off the one. <laughs> All right, honey. Next one. <laughs> now, that was from Linda, Linda Pelter of Prior Lake. Now, better than sex cake. Have you ever heard of it? None of the husbands will get in trouble for saying they've heard of that. <laughs> Better than sex? Okay, anyway, what we got here is we got a German chocolate cake. We're going to show you how to make this at home. German chocolate cake, then we take one of these things and uh, we make some holes in it, a few holes like this, see? Then, uh, let's see here, we fill the holes with uh, this stuff. Uh, and this. What is this, caramel? Yeah, you put this in there too. Okay, is this caramel? Wait, wait, let me get it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Doesn't yeah. matter, all goes to the same place. That's what we always say. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you mix it up real good. And uh, then you put this on top, honey. Okay, let me let me do this. Okay. Get a little bit of this on top. And now you have to crush, then you, crush those on there. You crush, you put these right here. Oh, you put these here. Okay, crush these babies. These are heat bars. Here, take them off the plate and do it. Okay, well, it's too late, honey. Okay, we put them around. Okay, some onions and uh, <laughs> and it, when it looks just like this is what it looks like the whole cake. And honey, now we're gonna eat it. And this is what it, this looks like. Does that look good? You want to bite, honey? I'll tell you if it's better than sex. <laughs> <laughs> if I fall asleep right now. Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to take a break. We'll see you break, honey. If your phone can't get to where you need to be, get an AT&T cordless phone from Best Buy. AT&T's cordless 4200 with digital security system and enhanced battery life is just $59.84. If you can't get to your phone, maybe you need an AT&T answering system. AT&T's remote answering system 1304 is also just $59.84. When it comes to keeping in touch, the answer is Best Buy's low prices on a big selection of AT&T quality products. To demonstrate the new Kick the Habit gradual smoking withdrawal system, we're comparing nicotine to the grasp of a beast. But with the Kick the Habit level 1 filter, your nicotine intake is reduced. You'll feel more like this. In a week? Switch to level two. The grasp of nicotine is reduced even more. Week three, level three. Now you're ready to quit. And the monkey's off your back. Kick the habit. The gradual smoking withdrawal system. Now you can take the hippest film of the year home for keeps. Awesome! Because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, is on video cassette for just $24.99. Righteous! And it only gets better because each video comes with coupons for over $20 worth of food and drinks from Pizza Hut. I love being a turtle! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. Cowabunga! Get them while they're hot. Available at Kmart. Join the fun. Enter the successful world of hair, skin, and nail aesthetics at the Horst Education Center in Minneapolis. You will learn and master the skills necessary to become an accomplished professional. Become a student or become a client. All services are available at very affordable prices, performed by supervised students using Aveda natural products. Enjoy success at the Horst Education Center for Cosmetology. Call 612-378-7400. It's real scary, but the school nurse was like the very most scary thing of all. <laughs> you remember her? Girls, today we'll be talking about changes in your bodies. Something that happens to all girls, something beyond your control! <laughs> Watch as innocent young girls are trans-
transformed into raving shrews! <laughs> Get away from me, I'm bloated! You know, are you bloated, honey? <laughs> no. You know, the fastest kind of uh, growing, the fastest growing kind of plastic surgery is uh, liposuction. And uh, this is where they actually suck the fat out of your body with a tube. Am I right? Here are some, there's been many new advances. It's a lot easier. You get an at-home kit, I believe, now. And uh, <laughs> we've got Dr. Ralph ba Ralph ba Basham. Basham here. Uh, and he's, he's joining us. What's, what's, what's new? What's happening, Ralph? Well, I think that uh, liposuction is, uh, is becoming very, uh, very good. Uh, we don't have a mobile unit yet, and we don't have the home kits, but it, is become, <laughs> it has been simplified quite a bit. Like you but said. tell us what you do. Now, is that where the... Let me ask you some questions, okay? So this is a machine that you hook people up to to suck out their fat, right? That's right. This is, this is sort of the vacuum cleaner that, uh, that he does the, the trick for us. And the, and the whole key is that this creates such a high suction that it actually draws the fat out of the body. It won't draw other things out because they have a greater substance, but the fat is soft enough that it can be drawn out with this liposuction. Did you, get a, did you go to school for this at all? Yes. Or did you? <laughs> My son asked me whether I went to high school. But I, you know, I used, to, that, I used to work at a meatpacking plant. We did something like this. <laughs> This, is that where all the fat goes? It's where, it's so right, how much fat like, can you pull out? You, know, you can well safely, safely yeah. you can pull out about two quarts. Then how above that, that, weigh? that would weigh about three or four pounds. That's then, all? then you go above and beyond that. How many times a day can you have it done? <laughs> <laughs> you can have it done once a day. How long would you have to heal from it? Like, it, you, you couldn't, like, you know, like, if you had to lose, like, you know, some weight, you couldn't, like, go in there every day, right? You can no, gain it back no. in the afternoon, is what that's you're right. saying. That's right. Thanks afternoon. We do it. How, How often could you get it done? <laughs> How often could you get it done? <laughs> you can have it. You, people can have it done. We usually recommend once every six months if, they're if they need more than one operation. Oh. Usually one operation is sufficient. For so, people. like, okay, over a year you could lose four pounds. <laughs> yeah, about that. So it's not, it's not the ideal weight loss program. It's certainly well, recommended for that Well, then why do people do it? Well, be, yeah. Like, well, well, people do it to, to change figure faults that they may have. Oh. They may have a small area that needs to be corrected uh, by something. And here we have... Oh, uh, we got some, some on the slides slide. here. Wow. And here's a woman who had... Uh, and which one is the, the bad one? I can't <laughs> tell. <laughs> I like the one on the left myself. But. <laughs> There's another, another woman, on, and on the before is on the left, of course, on the right is afterwards, and just to reduce that uh, thickened area right in the, uh, the hip regions. Here's the lower legs, we're doing oh. the lower legs in the video that we saw There's earlier. There's a difference there. Uh, it mm -hmm. was the, uh, showed the lower leg. Here's a man, uh, certainly we do it on men, too, What's in that? the abdomen area. It's, 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 it's a stomach, it's a belly button. Wow. Yeah. And after the liposuction. Women, in behind, we were doing it all over the body, and this is on a, a woman's back. She has a collection of fat underneath her bra line that really is irritation to her. She does that. A young man who has the uh, who has enlarged breasts, which is unnatural for uh, for a man. Yeah. And this is reduced with with liposuction. Wow! Well, look at him. Hello. Now. Hello. <laughs> and here's a woman. She had she had problem with. Well, he looks nice, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> And she's had a little enlargement as well. Oh, there's another woman who had it on the upper arm to reduce the fat there. Yeah. And that's the chin area. There. I like yeah, that. The I can see that. Works that. out that. quite well. Uh, Where would you stick that? The, like and you got. It's this thing, right? That's right. So how could you do that in the neck? Well, know? that's too big for that. We would use one of the smaller oh. uh, cannulas, which would oh be the smaller God. one. Did you stick that right in your neck? Right into the right into the neck to suck the fat out underneath it. Man. Honey, try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a tape. Well, we're playing a tape now of some interest, some of the surgery. Let's see how. And here you can see it, we make very small incisions with this. These incisions are less than a quarter of an inch long. Oh. And then the instrument, which we which we've seen here, is passed in. Oh. Oh. Those are their legs. This honey. is their lower leg that they were, they were wow. treating there. And you can see there's a collection of uh, fat. There is some blood that comes out with it. A little blood makes it. <laughs> Dad, I think you're better off just walking around the lakes. What do you guys say? <laughs> well, a lot of people do it. A lot of people do it. In fact, it's the most popular uh, surgery that we do now. In men and, and, and people, and people are, are happy with it. Very happy with it. Well, very I happy think what happens is you've got to get to a point where that you just need that extra little, you know, it's not, it shouldn't be. 
a big maintenance thing for you, like. Uh... <laughs> that, that's exactly right. You get to you get to a point where you where dieting or weight loss doesn't help, mm -hmm. or yeah. workout program doesn't help, and there's a small area that needs to be corrected. And this is an mm -hmm. ideal way to remove that fat yeah. and uh, correct it from. That's great. Well, thank you very much for being thank with us. My pleasure. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. We'll be back. Christmas wrap? I forgot. Snyder's has a complete selection of wrap, ribbon, and bows. I can do it again, man. On your side. With over nine hours of detailed, in-depth, round-the-clock news coverage. Every hour, on the hour, and all night long. With health reports that keep you and your family informed. We're on your side, 24 hours a day. On the next ride with Regis and Kathy Lee, we'll pay a visit to Dear John's One to One Club with actress Jane Carr. See it today at 4 here on Channel 5. I like my fish. I take it through those parts. I like my fish. They're never out after dark. I like my fish. That's why I call them the fabulous goldfish review. I like my fish. I feed them every night. I like my fish. They hardly ever die. I like my fish. You're going to see. Thank you very much. You're going to see some dangerous tricks and stunts from these goldfish folks. Don't try anything you see here on your own with your pets or your kids at home. I'm going to get out of fish here that's been touring the country with me for a long time. He's a good friend of mine, a former member of Bob Bill, where he was an Elvis impersonator. How about a big hand for Pete Goldstein? Put it together, everybody. Pete Goldstein. This guy's unbelievable. He's been on the stage, he's been on the stream, and he's doing something a little different these days because Pete Goldstein is a sword swallower, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Yes! I don't worry, I don't try anything on the fish. I wouldn't try it myself. Gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. Thank you. Gonna be okay. Let's get him out there and see what he does. Gonna be very, very careful. Here you go. Oh, got him in the eye. But he wants to do it again, folks. He doesn't care. That was the first time I'd done that act in a long time. We did it at these last week. That was the first time I've done it a I long know. time since I lived here. Well, fun. honey. We're going to review some restaurants. Yep. We've been eating yep. our way through the Twin Cities the last week. We've been eating. Um, we ate in uh, many fine restaurants. Many all fine over, restaurants. All over St. Paul and Minneapolis. St. Paul and Minneapolis. The first place we went to was Gastino's, yeah. which was over there at the Hyatt or something. Yeah, it was, was at it the, the Hyatt. No, it's at the Marriott, honey. Oh, the Marriott. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Marriott. Marriott. And it's a. Uh, that real we nice gave it three stars. Real nice place we had a lot of. What'd you have there, honey? I had um, the bread with the the big slummy thing in it. <laughs> and then, uh, I had fish, and yeah. you had, had what you had? Chipino, Chipino. Yeah, was, you uh, had that. Which is like soup with a uh, real hot uh, hot fish soup and fish chunks of fish in it. And we it's had Caesar good. salad. Caesar salad. We split that. They forgot to bring hers at first. That's okay. Anyway, uh, and then we had tomatoes with mozzarella and cheese mozzarella. on it. We gave that three stars. There's one drawback, though. All the waitresses and waiters sing. Yeah, they sing real loud, so, and it's not bad. even in English, so it's not a real it's good. It's some kind of real screeching opera stuff. But, but our so, waiter was a real nice guy. You might not want to go there, but you know if you got if you do, no. you know. Bring the earplugs because it's good food. It's damn good food. <laughs> <laughs> then, then we were to Pepitos, honey. Pepitos. Yeah, we gave that six three Mexican stars. Restaurants. We had Pepitos, six Mexican restaurant over there. There was one drive back there too. The telephone. owner comes and sits with you and tells you about his problems in small business. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, other than that, it was great. <laughs> you got 
of, we had a lot of, we had like a, we had, uh... Can you keep, tell how he set up that we had to make our own burritos. Yeah, make our own burritos. We brought the meat and other little yeah, things. Yeah, like, he thought that was real cool that he's going to yeah. let us make our own burritos. Yeah. But, but they were good. Know, they were real know. good, and uh, we know that guy anyhow. Yeah, they were good. <laughs> so... Yeah, then we went to the Lori Cafe last night. We went night. there last night. Kind of an artsy-fartsy kind of place. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think you can say for I can't say that. So. Anyway. Yeah, it's a lot of attitude in there, and this guy, <laughs> way too much attitude, yep. and this one guy, he sits on top of the door, and he puts really bad sacks. Yeah, and they, they won't lay like, down from like top in to... A, like in a porn movie, that <laughs> bad. <laughs> but, um, and but the great. food is a three-star. Oh, it was excellent. We loved it, was it there. Excellent it was food. excellent We got right, it was great. We sat in the window there. It was great. <laughs> Recommend. Okay, there we go. Wait, 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 the diner. The Mickey's Diner, first place I took her to. Yeah, classic place. That's awesome. Classic place. Awesome. Food was great. It was good and greasy. Lots of grease. Lots of salt. <laughs> Lots of salt and grease like we I, like it. I had the heart... <laughs> I had the heart stopper omelet. Uh... <laughs> because the ambiance there was the finest in the city. As we were sitting there, there was a, a some kind of wounded... Just as we walked in. A guy was sitting there screaming that he wished St. Paul would perform on him. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> that he was... And he wanted O'Brien potatoes right now because he was wounded in Vietnam and yeah. he shot nine times. So we gotta give it, we gotta give it a three and a half, honey. Yeah, and that gets an extra half. half a star for the raving guy, the guy okay. that... <laughs> Good. We gotta mention though, honey, we, we ate, we stayed at the Whitney. It's the finest hotel in town. We love that place and the food that there. That was the best food stars. we've ever had. We had stars. that for Thanksgiving. Well, four stars. The second best we've ever had because. Oh, you're right, honey. It was. You're right. It was only three point seven five stars. Right, because four Number stars. Number one, White Castle. There was ten drunken guys in there, man. It was great. Grease, you know, all the white bag with all the grease around the bottom of oh, it. Oh, it's great. So we had to burn awesome. the bags because they snowed the whole hotel. So. <laughs> well, Steve awesome. and Sharon, is that it for us? Well, we went a little short on this one, so uh, we need to fill time a little. But you know, there's something a lot of restaurants are doing now, this What's karaoke, that? is that what karaoke? that's called? Yeah, like kind of for entertainment. You know? oh. Oh. Singing machine, yeah, having yeah. to sing along So we thought it. we'd get one just in case, you know, you guys needed something extra oh, to do. Oh, okay. well, is that one of those bikes are set up? Yeah. 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 There you go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go, honey. Let me help you, baby. get so many letters from people sometimes they they write to me even after they've had their weight off for maybe two or three years probably the thing that i hear most often is that your counselors are wonderful they really care i never get tired of hearing about the successes i just feel like 
Uh, we're doing something important. Now you can. Lose all the weight you want for only a $99 service fee. Call the connection. Dear Walgreens, I'd like to tell you about my experience. I was visiting from out of state when my wife got seriously ill. She required numerous medications, so I appreciate the low prices at Walgreens. And I'd like to thank your pharmacist. They were very considerate. Being 1,100 miles from home made Walgreens service that much sweeter. For any occasion, or no occasion at all, American Greetings makes the day extra special. American Greetings cards, wraps, and ribbon from Walgreens Drugstore. So I'm reading the newspaper, and it occurs to me, I need longer arms. Or maybe I need glasses. Since these are my only eyes, I figure there's only one place to go. Pearl, or Pearl Express. Guess what? Pearl will pay for your exam when you buy a pair of glasses. Or you can buy one pair, and they'll give you a second pair. Big news, huh? Hey, gotta go. Time for my little Now at Pearl and Pearl Express, where you get glasses in one hour, call 1-800-YES-EYES for locations. Company today with Roseanne Barr, Tom Arnold, and we have some questions here in our audience. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to know if either one of you had spent any time in the North Country where it's so cold when you've lived out in. You worried about a moving here in the winters, you mean? Yeah. Do you, yeah. you think you're going to like it? I was born in Iowa, you know, and, and I was uh, born in Utah. Born in Utah, so. we're used to cold. We and miss the snow. We it's like it. We like it cold. Yeah. We got a winter for you. Huh? We like it. We love it. Yeah. Thank you. We were hoping it would have snowed when we were here. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Hey, Tim. Hi. Good to see you. Paul and I were wondering what happened to the goldfish. You still? Well, it, well have like all you just saw, fish? in case you weren't watching the show. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> on Rick D's. I don't you know, know what you were doing. Yeah, on Rick D's. I did him the other night. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do him on a couple other shows, but you know, I just mainly been doing uh, straight stand up, and and that's a little easier. And this, you know, this is fun to do once in a while. But that's the first time I've done it in like three years. Oh, and I used to work with Tim out at the Carlton. We had Paula too. She used to book me. We have some uh, videotape of you guys. We want to show right now, and you can kind of tell us what's going on. Starting oh. out when, Roseanne, you were just a little kid, I think we're really? going to start with you. Sure, let's take a look. Oh, oh right. ma'am. Oh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. That's me in high school. It's a bad picture. Oh, that's a good picture. I like yeah. that hair. <laughs> that's like me when years. I was skinny. <laughs> wow. What age? 28. That's me with John Goodman mm -hmm. on the TV show. You're in your third season now. Yeah, yeah third or fourth, I don't know yet. Third. That's me and old Merrill. She Devil? And she Devil, yeah. Uh oh That's me on my uh, famous uh, singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> and that's, that's you, that's you on me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> me and Tom in Vanity Fair. Yeah. yeah. Mud wrestling, and that's after we mud wrestled. At our house in Malibu. <laughs> Annie Leewood took your picture. She's a great, Me and my uh, dad. A great photographer. Yeah. Me and my dad on my wedding day. It's There's me. Tom on his wedding day. With my dad day tying with his my tie. Still had my beard. That's a, I, I got this wedding dress and they didn't take that thing off it. So, you know steal that plastic tag? tag? They don't steal it? <laughs> no. So I had to get it off. And There's I our family. There's. You got your arm around Jenny, and uh, there's certain other people. And that's us uh, reading our vows. Very good, beautiful, and really nice. We had a beautiful nice. wedding. Yeah, gorgeous. It was beautiful. And everything. And that's, that's us, us eating our, our cake. cake and... But better than sex cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> not that night, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You know, last summer, last summer, you guys really sounded like you were angry with the whole Los Angeles scene. You said you were disappointed with the way it is in show business, yeah. and you talked about moving here. Right. Are we really to believe you're going to move here, or what is it about? Huh? How about it? <laughs> no, we want to. We already said all that. Yeah. We, we are, we are, uh, we're, we're not so much angry with the Los Angeles scene. I mean, there's a lot of good people out there. There's even good people in Hollywood. We are, we are not the type. We're from the Midwest, you know, and, and we go out it's there. It's like we're being on an, it's like we're in an alien country. Right, kinda. that's what it feels we like. We don't fit out there. 
Yeah. They sit out here more. Maybe it's not so much them. The one thing, there's fat people out here. <laughs> I was just wondering if there's any little Arnolds in the few near future. In the what? In the, <laughs> the near future. Now, we were going to, um, we've yeah, already we begun, gonna. we've gone, begun the process. Uh, we were going to try to have one right away. And then, uh, you know, we, uh, we began, we're checking this in vitro fertilization is what we're doing because she had her tubes uh, cut. So, uh, I did my part. You know, I'm ready to roll. You know, uh, or, or swim, as it may be. Anyway, uh, we decided to wait till next summer to start it so we could coordinate it with the TV show. She could pregnant on a show next year. And plus, you know, what, uh, we thought, well, let's wait a little bit. We, we're newly married. Let's uh, give it uh, till next summer and start trying to have a baby. And uh, we're very excited. Aren't we, honey? Yes, we we're are. We're very excited. <laughs> Thank you. Fair article, you said that show business has been a big disappointment and you just can't wait for it to be over. Well, you know, I said a lot of things uh, in the six minutes that that woman interviewed me. Oh, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I hate that article. But, um, what do you I hate about it? Because it's a bunch of crap. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all BS. And she, it's like a big, a whole bunch of Inquirer articles strung together. Yeah, it's oh. a real negative about my relationship with her. And yeah, you know, it sounds her. like he controls me and right. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. huh? How about that? Well, what? Yeah. Do you control Sharon? Not at all. You well, kidding? the same thing here. I'm telling you. Oh. If I did, I would admit it, Steve. You know. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> no way. You know, I, I just felt like it was like, uh, you know, just some big hatchet job. But what'd you ask me? Oh, it, you just said that you were really disappointed with yeah. show business. Well, some parts of it are disappointing. You know, like, you know, uh, always getting attacked every day, you know, in the press is really the yeah. bad part. I mean, the fans and the work is the fun part. But... Like, every time I open up the paper, there's some other thing about me in there that makes me mad. I think when you're dreaming you about know, I guess so, look, You know, you don't think about that when you want to be a star or nothing. Right. You, don't, you don't think about, you know, how many people are going to talk about your body every day in the mm -hmm. newspaper. You yeah, know? so when, you, when you're like a kid, you're dreaming, boy, I'm going to be a star, and I'm going to do this, and this, and this, it's going to be just so great. Well, you know, you find out it's just not like that. I mean, it's great. It's, we it have a great, great life. There is great stuff about it, of course, but, you know, there is that. That, that makes me unhappy. What's the best part? Like it. Well, the best, the best part is, uh, you know, that we're not, you know, the best part is that we're able to do really, really, you know, work that makes us happy mm -hmm. and that people enjoy it. And the, But the best part is the fans, you know, the mm -hmm. support from people. That I get like you know this summer and a lot of support and uh, you know just well, tell us like about that. that after you did the uh, you know the and national anthem yeah. was very controversial yeah. you came here mm -hmm. yeah. you were kind of nervous about it you went out on stage yeah, at really River nervous. Place yeah and what happened well you know it was really great and people were very nice to me and also you know which was really lucky that I had this place booked because I needed that because I was real scared I had to make her come she wasn't yeah you know, I was scared once but... again you know control her but I made her I said you got to go there she, yeah. said, <laughs> she said she said no I'm not I go these people they're great people and I, I guarantee it's gonna make you feel a lot better yeah and it did there. and then I got all these letters from around the country and stuff from people saying you know nice stuff that's the best part of it yeah that's probably why you want to be here right yeah, yeah. oh absolutely and you know too Steve if, if like uh, you know when you think about being in show business you think about being successful and, and be hugely successful and so and then you realize as you get that point, you say, "Well, this is just a little disappointing." It's, uh, and then you got to kind of take a I step back. I think too, because you got all the. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but like you know, you're crazy. You're not that sorry, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're not that emotionally healthy anyway to yeah. want to be a performer. And so maybe you think that like if you get famous, you, you kind of think maybe you all your problems yourself, will go yeah. away. Uh -huh. And the thing is, it's like you think that about losing weight sometimes. You know, then you lose the weight or you get famous and it doesn't fix all the things in you that you still need to fix and yeah. maybe I got that mixed up you a little. You know, and also some people, it seems like they don't want to believe that you're really in love, that you really found this yeah. great relationship Yeah, they don't want to believe that. Them. Well, they, and they can't think that both of us are okay either. There, yeah. there has to be some angle. Because yeah. out there in Hollywood or wherever they're writing these articles from, which is why we can't stand it, people don't probably love each other. They probably are all in it for angles and other kinds of things there. And I mean, I swear to God that's true. Mm -hmm. and, I think that when they write articles about that, it says more about them and their relationships than right. it says about the people they're writing about. But, mm -hmm. no, I mean, you know, in the real world, in the real world, people do love each other right. and get married and all that kind of stuff, you know. We're going to break. Yeah. Okay. Right back. Everybody, Gary Lumpkin here for the Trim for Life Weight Loss Program. Now, 
Seated next to me is Brenda Shostag, who went to our clinic in White Bear Lake and lost... Well, tell the folks how much weight you lost. 46 pounds. 46, that's wonderful. I'm wondering about, uh, well, dress sizes. I went from an 18 to a 10. 18 to... Well, let's stand up. Let's show off the, uh, the new size. You look terrific. Thanks. What about this program well, really appealed to you? What did you like the best? Definitely, it's the counselors. Well, what do you mean? They were there whenever I needed them. I could go as often as I wanted, and they got me through the rough spots. Oh, yeah. How's your life different now? I have a self-confidence and self-esteem. Yeah. And it's better now. Life is much better? Oh, yes. I feel great. <laughs> yeah. She feels great thanks to Trim for Life, and thanks to Trim for Life, so will you. And this week only at Trim for Life, get December free. That's right, December free. Call 1-800-654-TRIM for the location nearest you. Remember, this week only, get December free. 1-800-654-TRIM and get started today. I wish I could make the world as perfect as Jessica draws it, but I can only do what I can. Like giving her a better juice, made from oranges picked and squeezed within a day. Well, that's the idea behind Citrus Hill Fresh Choice. Because an orange pick today is fresher than one that sat around for a couple of days. It's nice to turn one wish into reality for my kids. New Citrus Hill Fresh Choice. Squeeze the day we pick it, fresher the day you pour it. Also available with more juicy bits of orange. New Citrus Hill Classic Style. Kohl's Christmas catalog. Our biggest ever. 71 bonus buys. Sunday and Monday only. 72 pages. All slippers, 25% off. All Cherokee for juniors, 33% off. All Reeboks, 20 to 25% off. Family outerwear, 30% off. All fine jewelry, 50 to 60% off. Kohl's Christmas catalog. 72 pages. Plus 71 bonus buys. Sunday and Monday only. It's gifts for Christmas. Plus 12 pages of electronics. From Kohl's. Hey, we're done, guys. All right. Yeah, what did you think? Oh, it was great. How, how was it hosting the show? That was great. It was really fun. Was it different than you thought it was going to be? Yeah, it, it was, was scary easier. at times. Yeah, it was scary. It was, it was fun, and yeah. it was exciting. Yeah. yeah, and all those. It was all right. great. We had a great, we had a great yeah. time. We had a little gift for you guys. We, you oh, we know that the two of you uh, often dress alike. So Classic. Oh, how nice. And for us. Sure. Oh, how cute. It's a yeah. It's a T-shirt. <laughs> if you want some of super bargains, by the way, you have to call City Line to get the super bargains. Yeah. Tomorrow, Senator Paul Wellstone and his wife will be here. <laughs> Roseanne Barr, Tom Arnold, thank, thank you. you. Love thank you guys. You. Thank you. How about it? Time for a healthy breakfast. This time, your kids will eat it. A cereal made from wholesome oats. Don't worry, your kids will eat it. It's crunchier, yummier Quaker Oat Life. Lightly sweetened inside, toasted oats outside. Quaker Oat Life tastes so much better. Unless they're weird, your kids will eat it. The magic of Christmas on video cassette. The joy of sharing the holiday spirit with family and friends. A time to give the children in your life the excitement of the season with the Christmas Classic Series from Family Home Entertainment. There's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and three other classic Christmas favorites. The Christmas Classic Series, available now on video cassette at special prices. Collect them all and bring Christmas home for keeps. Now available at Target. Everyone is Santa for someone. Brookdale, it's where Santa shops. From your 24-hour news channel, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good afternoon, I'm Angela. I'm the Eyewitness Newsroom. The current temperature is 35 degrees. In the news this hour, freezing rain this Monday contributed to some 100 accidents in the metro area today. If you spent the weekend Christmas shopping, you helped make local retailers smile the opening weekend of the Christmas season. Dayton Hudson reports being about even with 1989's pace. And two Minnesota brothers and two Soviets have completed an around-the-world bicycle trip. More news at 5. On our next, a current affair seen from a marriage. It's live with Regis and Kathy Lee.
Today, it's their first appearance together on 